Hi there. My name is Jonathan. I'm the singer for Shearwater, and on today's installment of Inside Bowie's Berlin Trilogy, I wanted to talk about the songs, uh, two songs from Lodger. I wanted to talk about Fantastic Voyage and Boys Keep Swinging. And my friends have kindly lent me their piano to let me uh, explain these to you. The, uh, if you're a fan of this record, which you probably are if you're watching this, you know that these two songs are separated on either side of the album uh, by quite a lot of songs. Fantastic Voyage is the first song on side one, and Boys Keep Swinging is, um, I think, the, the fourth song on side two, or the third. Uh, and so there's enough space in between them that you may not notice the, the thing they share, which is that their chords are exactly the same. <laughs> the, I think it was probably one of uh, uh, Bowie and Eno's games that they, they wanted to see if they could have two songs with exactly the same chord progression. Uh, on the same record. And so, uh, I'll just to prove it to you, here's Fantastic Voyage. It starts with a D. In the event that this fantastic voyage is E, should turn to a rose, G minor there, and we never get old, D again, and E, remember it's true, dignity, is valuable, but our lives are valuable. That's a G minor there, too. <laughs> uh, and then there's a sort of little chorus that's like A, D, A, D, G, A, D. But Boys Keep Swinging on the other side, uh, which is not a, a sort of a uh, kind of a mellow ballad like uh, fantastic Voyages. Boys Keep Swinging, of course, is kind of big, dumb rock song. And uh, I think they uh, actually traded off the, the instruments that everyone was playing in that, or that the rhythm section at least was playing in that song, uh, so that the guitarist, Carlos Alomar, was playing drums, uh, etc. Probably, I, I just imagine that that's an experiment that stemmed from Eno's work with the Portsmouth Sinfonia, which is a group of people who got together to play music on instruments they did not know how to play, and some of them weren't even musicians at all uh, in any sense. And yet, when they tried to play these pieces from, from memory, like uh, 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 the Blue Danube or, the, or the, uh, uh, the William Tell Overture or something, they ended up with something that kind of sounds like them, but it sounds like somebody hazily remembering them or something. It's a really funny uh, and uh, interesting kind of music. but. Uh, so I have a feeling, you know, thought, well, let's try this uh, with this band. These guys are so good at what they're doing. Let's see if we can make them sound, um, you know, we can sort of handicap them by basically tying a, tying an arm behind their back. So anyway, but the chords are the same uh, for Boys Keep Swinging. It's D again. Heaven loves you. E. The clouds put for you. G minor. Nothing stands in your way. Life is a pop of a chimney when you're a boy. And so, uh, you know, I, I think they just wanted to see if they could get away with it, and they, uh, they did. Although in that, in Boys Keep Swinging, one of the more memorable bits in it was uh, that, that little hook in the bass in the, in the chorus, like, boys! was invented by Tony Visconti, uh, who played the bass on the track, and uh, that's kind of one of the more memorable parts of it. Uh, but the two songs, you know, they're just two very different approaches to the same chord progression. Uh, but I remember when we were learning them, uh, when, when we got to Boys Keep Swinging, we were like, wait a minute, this is, <laughs> these chords are the same as for Fantastic Voyage. And every once in a while it would screw you up because there's a few little variations in there, and if you just tried to rely on your memory of the one to give you the chords for the other, um, it would it would lead you astray, but for the most part they're exactly the same. So that's their secret for today, and I'll uh, I'll be back with some more at a later date. <laughs>